नमस्ते नमस्ते सर सो कैन यू प्लीज ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ यस सर आई एम अंकुर आई एम फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश लखनऊ एंड आई एम स्टडिंग फॉर स्टडिंग इन बी एड फर्स्ट ईयर एंड माई कॉलेज नेम इज सेंट्रल संस्कृत यूनिवर्सिटी लखनऊ उत्तर प्रदेश so can you please tell me uh, you know how you came to know about this iks internship program yes sir uh, i come to know about the iks program for the circular that was uh, disseminated in my college i see so you came to know from your own college about this what made you interested yes, in sir. iks oh good so what made you interested in this iks internship Uh, we don't get to learn about indian knowledge system in our uh, regular uh, uh, circulum so i found the opportunity of this internship very interesting sir wait so then you know to start your internship you had to choose a topic so can you briefly say why you took this topic what is your special interest and in why you got interested in this topic okay sir i have chose the topic of food and nutrient in uh, ancient india from the ayurvedic uh, perspective my topic is the scientific evolution of traditional diets and that uh, contemporary relevance okay so what books did you search you know to understand the ayurvedic perspective on this topic yes sir i found that the uh, traditional diet has been deeply influenced by ayurveda and is discussed in classical text like charakshita sushrutshita ashtang hridayam and ashtang sangrah however and ashtang uh, however are also books uh, dealing exclusively with the topic of traditional indian uh, cuisine there are pakadarpana of nala bhojan kautuhalam chhem kautuhalam pathapathya visishtya and, and so on sir. so after reading these texts uh what were your findings uh, i found that traditional dietic principle are very flexible accommodative and uh, aimed to adopt according to place time and individual there are uh, sound principle of a healthy diet that can be applied universally ayurvedic text point out that there are no hard and uh, first rules about hard food is good or bad for someone what is good at one time of the day may be bad the another time what is good in one season may be bad in another what is good for people in a particular region may be bad for people in another region ayurveda gives a checklist of eight items for customizing and creating a balanced diet also i found that food is classified into different categories and assessed, uh, assessed in term of benefits and harms the combination of foods and their nutritional properties has been discussed okay that's interesting um, so you found that ayurveda has certain principles which is actually the basis of its uh, you know wholesome diet but how do you yes, uh, are you able to relate this to modern scientific studies how could you make a yes course? sir i found uh, yes sir i found that modern studies are supporting many and uh, dietary uh, pra- uh, practice of ancient india the com- combination of uh, calories and pulse in traditional food like idli dosa roti and dal provide a complete range of amino acid mixing turmeric with pepper enhance the bioavailability of curcumin curcumin i study found that the traditional indian diet uh, sambar may have the ability to Uh, prevent coracoidal cancer however i could also understand that all traditional dietary practice and not be healthy especially the over consume effect uh, consume pection of sweets and fried food okay so since you find that there is both good and bad in traditional diet and the principle yes, of ayurveda actually that is what is more important not exactly what you eat it should be based on principles what are your final conclusions uh, there are two things in the traditional indian diet sir the principle and that practice i found that the traditional diet is should in principles 
but many practices that are uh, prevalent today are not healthy on the other hand if we evaluate modern food also using ayurvedic principle some of them could be healthy it is not whether a food is traditional or modern that is important but whether it compiles with the principle of healthy diet in ayurveda okay so you you have discovered that ayurveda offers an approach to discovering a balanced diet and even modern yes, food sir. they are good we can accept it just because it is traditional doesn't mean that it is always good so that's your finding yes, yes. so can you just tell me what is your overall experience with this internship program of ikes yes sir uh, it was a uh, fascinating to learn about the a uh, comprehensive approach to food and nutrition in ayurveda and indian traditional thought uh, this internship program okay so yes it was nice to working with you on this topic and i'm happy to know that uh, you have learned many things i wish you the best and Thank hope you sir. continue your engagement with ik systems namaste thanks namaste sir.